Hey everybody, I'm Chase, and this is my best friend Chase. Welcome back to the Chase and Chase Show. So today, Chase is going to show you guys a new trick you learned with this bucket. All right, go ahead and show him, Chase. Wait, no, actually, I'm going to show you guys a trick. No, Chase, I want to. Chase, I want to show. Chase, I want to. Ooh, somebody's in trouble. You heard that? You broke some glass, Chase. You broke the. Oh no! Do you hear that? Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Um, excuse me, which one of you guys broke this glass over here? Wait, what do you mean? No, that, Chase, Chase did it. Chase, yep. That doesn't sound like something Chase would do. What do you mean it doesn't sound like something Chase would do? Chase, Puppy Chase would totally do that all on his own. I was just watching. I was just here. What I see is that Puppy Chase is sorry for what he did. What matters is that you're both safe. I love you both. I just want to make sure you're both sorry for what happened. Now, Chase, don't blame it on other people if you were a part of it, too. Yeah. You both need to be sorry. You're right, okay. Well, Chase is sorry, and I'm sorry, too. I, I, we shouldn't have been messing around, and I shouldn't have tried to get Chase in trouble. I'm sorry. <sighs> Man, that was really nice of my dad. I mean, we made the mistake, and, and Chase said he was sorry at first. I didn't, I didn't think it was my fault at first, but after we talked to him for a while, I realized that I had done some things wrong, too. But instead of being angry or yelling at us or running away, he was really kind, and he forgave us, and he showed us that he loves us. That kind of reminds me of a story I know in, in the book of Luke. It's called The Story of the Lost Son. It's one of Chase's favorites. That one, there's two sons, and the one son takes some of the money that his dad gave him, and he ran away from home, and he spent it on so many things, and he made a lot of really bad decisions, kind of like when we were fighting over that bucket and we, we threw it. And the son is out, and he runs out of money, and he has no food, and he's so hungry, and he thinks to himself, I should just go back to my dad's house, and he probably won't forgive me, but... I can just work for my dad. And then maybe, maybe I'll be able to eat some of the food that he gives to the people that work for him. And he's like, perfect, that's the best idea. So he kind of trudges home and he goes, you know, kicking his feet a little bit. And he says, well, I hope my dad's going to be able to forgive me at least enough to give me a job. So he comes up and before he can even get to his house, his dad sees him far off in the distance and he runs to him and he runs to him and he grabs him and he hugs him and he kisses him. He, he, he's so happy to see his son. He, and he, he sees that his son is sorry for what he did and he already forgave him, and he already showed him how much he loved him. Kind of like my dad. He showed us how much he loved us by forgiving us because we were sorry after we realized what we had done when we had broke that glass. The dad in the story reacted so kindly, and he showed forgiveness right away. Let's read about it in Luke chapter 15. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. That was a great passage with one big word, compassion. Chase, do you know what the word compassion means? <laughs> yeah, it's all those things. It's, it's forgiveness and it's kindness and it's love no matter what. Just like that dad in the story showed his son and just like my dad showed us. So this Father's Day, go give your dad a big hug and say thank you. Tell him that you love him because he loves you. Your dad takes care of you and helps feed you and helps to, to raise you and shows you love and compassion. And if it's not your dad, maybe it's your uncle or your grandpa or maybe a friend who comes over and, and, and takes care of you as well. But we all have somebody in our life who's like that dad in the story, who loves us and wants to take care of us and shows us forgiveness even when we don't deserve it. Just like God our Father, who loves us and takes care of us even though we don't deserve it. We can always go to Jesus and say, I'm so sorry for all my sin and God the Father will forgive us because Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. There's three things we learned in today's story. Chase, the first thing is, do you remember what my dad said when we broke the glass? What was the most important thing that he said we should be? <laughs> You're right. He said it was important that we were sorry, that we talked about what we did, we owned up to it, and we apologized for it. Secondly, the dad in the story, in the, the story of the lost son, what did he do when he saw his son? Exactly. He ran to him. He hugged him and he kissed him and he forgave him because he saw his son was sorry for the bad things that he had done. Now, who is the father that loves all of us perfectly? And who is the father that forgives all of us even when we don't deserve it? <laughs> You're right. God the Father. We all have God the Father in heaven who loves us perfectly and will always forgive us because Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Give your dad a big hug, say happy Father's Day, and we'll see you guys next week. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all that you do for us. Thank you, God the Father, for forgiving us and loving us unconditionally. 
Thank you for the dads or the uncles or the brothers or the, the big friends that we have that come and are those father figures for us that love us and take care of us and also forgive us when we do things that are wrong. We love you, Jesus, and we thank you for all that you do for us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. See you guys next week. Bye. Oh, hey, Chase. Hey, Chase. Hey. hey, guys. We just wanted to wish you happy Father's Day and bring you today's questions. So, I hope you were paying attention. First one, what was the story about? Yep, the prodigal son. And it's also called the parable of the what? Lost son. You're right. The lost son. That's right. And... What did the father do when the boy returned? Oh, you're right. He ran up and he hugged him and he kissed him. Wow, he forgave him. Has there ever been a time when you were so glad that your father or somebody you really loved forgave you too? Talk about that right now. question. In what book of the Bible is this story found? Hmm. Anyone? Anyone? Luke, you're right. We found this in Luke chapter 15 verse 11, the story of the lost son. And we are so glad that not only do our dads forgive us and hug us when we do things and make bad choices, but also that it teaches us that we should forgive other people too. Because you know what? God always forgives us. But remember, the key to the story is that the son came back. We should always go back to the father no matter what we've done because he'll always be there with open arms to forgive us every single time. All right, see you guys next week.